What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? Well, before I begin my review, I just want to give a quick shout-out to our sponsors, SellCashier.com. If you guys are looking to get cash for your used iPhone, check out the link in the description. All right, guys, so the product I'm going to be showing you today is something that was sent to me free for review from PhotoFast. And today we have the iFlash Drive Max, which is a really cool iOS flash drive. It has a USB 3.0 on one end and a lightning connector on the other end. And it basically allows you to store and manage data and files from your computer, whether it's a Windows computer or a Mac computer, and be able to access those files onto your iOS device. So like I said, this does work with iOS the, the iOS devices. It has a lightning connector. It has to be iOS 7 and plus and higher, of course. But And it also says for supported models, it does work with iPhone 5, 5S, 5C, iPhone 6, and 6 Plus, and then the iPad Air, Air 2, and the mini iPads is what this will work with. And guys, this is a really cool, unique product. Uh, there's not too many, I don't know of any too many other flash drive, hard drive devices that will have a lightning connector that plugs right into your iOS device. But this is really cool. This is definitely handy for those of you that take a lot of trips, road trips, and flights and airplanes. Me, I, my iPhone is only 16 gigs, so I don't have a lot of space to be storing a lot of movies and music and things like that on there. So this is what it allows you to do. The, I have a 32 gig right here. You can store a ton of videos and movies, and you can listen to it or watch them on your iOS, your iPad or your iPhone. So sometimes, if you have, depending on what situation you're in, you may not want to pull out your iPad and watch a movie. You may be in the car, you just want to watch it on your iPhone. Either way, you can plug this into either one of those devices, and you're good to go. Really, really cool product. So uh, we'll talk about some of the physical aspects of it, and this product does work with the, the a free app that comes uh, that you can get on the, I, the iTunes App Store. It's called the iFlash Drive app. It's a free. Now I'll give you guys a demonstration of how that works on my iPhone. But uh, one one thing I do also want to mention too, the one I have right here is 32 gigs. It's available in 16, 32, and 64 gigs. They retail for 16 gig is eighty dollars. The 32 gig, this one right here, it retails for a hundred dollars. And if you want a 64 gig, that's going to be a hundred and thirty bucks. And I'll have the link to that in the description if you want to purchase that it is available on amazon okay so let's pop out the uh, flash drive let me show you some close-ups of it and talk about some physical aspects and details of it and then we'll talk about the app in just a second okay guys so here is the flash drive itself like i said it is a 32 gig this is a very small flash drive okay this is only it's barely two inches long it's a little bit shorter than two inches it weighs 9.5 grams it's very lightweight very small it does not take up much space at all it's easy to carry in your pocket and just carry around with you it does not take much space up i always keep one of these in my laptop bag just in case there's a file i want to transfer if i have music or things i want to put on my phone i could easily get to it from here as long as I plug into my phone. There is one issue I have with it, and I'll, get, and I'll show that to you in just a second with, with uh, my iPhone, but first off, I just want to show you the thickness and the, the, the width of it, the, lo the length. This is a 3.0. Uh, jack right here. It is. Uh, there's, it, there's no power. There's no, nothing has to be powered or battery or anything like that. But keep in mind, whenever you do plug this into your computer, make sure it is uh, USB 3.0, and it does not play very well with extenders. So I have a few things um, like the Blue Lounge. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like an, an adapter to, to reroute my USB uh, port to the front of my computer. When I plug it into that little adapter, it does not work. I actually have to plug it into the back of my computer. I did notice that a couple times using with different USB hubs, um, it'll light up and let you know. So if you don't see the blue and red lights come on here, that means it's not being powered well enough, so you need to actually plug it directly into your computer. Uh, also, you can use this to charge and sync your iOS device. It's a little bit awkward because it's so short. It lays pretty well if it's on a, like a, a MacBook Air, if it's flat on the ground. You can put your iPhone right next to it and plug this in the, into the computer, and that fits pretty nicely. But uh, besides that, it's a little kind of awkward to use it because it's so short. So it is US 3.0. You can actually store the cap on the top right there so you don't lose track of it. That's really easy to get to. Let me show you the, the part here for the lightning connector. That actually has a nice little hinge part right here so you don't lose that piece. It flops down and you plug it right into your iOS device, whether it's an iPad, iPod, or iPhone. And that's pretty flush and easy to get to. Now, the one big issue I have with this device is that if you use... Um, is that you, if you use a, a case with your iOS device, your iPhone, that is not going to plug into your case because it is completely flush. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So obviously, if I have a case on my iPhone, I cannot. It has to go into there further. So luckily, I do have one of these uh, one of these types of cases. This is an STM case for those of you that need to know. This. So I, sometimes I have accessories and things that I need to be able to plug right directly into it. So when I do it like that, that just plug it nicely into there and that just go flush. But if you have a case on your phone, you're not going to be able to plug it directly in there. You'll have to take the case off in order to use this. Now, they have remedied that with the new product that they just announced this week called the uh, Memories Cable. I should be getting a review unit of that very soon so I can show you guys how that works. But that's actually a cable. It's actually like a, like a two, three-inch cable. 
and the storage is in the cable. There's no like larger big component part of it. It's just it's just a, it looks like a little short dongle cable that you would use with the lightning connector and the USB on the other end. But it actually can store uh, files onto that. And that is something that is small because the other tip of it, it's a lightning connector. It's about the same size as the connector that came with your, your iPhone. And that'll plug into using if you have a case. So even if you have an OtterBox case, a Defender or something like that that's big and bulky, it'll plug right into there, no problem. So keep that in mind if you're using this with your iPads or whatever, if it has a case on it, you will have to remove the case in order to get that completely flush and plugged into your device, okay? That's the one issue I've had with this. Besides that, it's been a pretty pretty smooth sailing product and I haven't had really any problems with it at all, okay? So I pretty much that's it for the actual physical factor of it. So let's go ahead and switch over to the iPhone. Let me give you guys a demonstration of the application, the free application that PhotoFast has for this and uh, I'll show you how that works. Okay guys, so here we have my iPhone. I'm gonna plug this into my device. You're going to see what's going to pop up. So it says, one would like to communicate with the PhotoFast Co. LTD iFlash Drive Max U3. So if I click on Allow. So there we have the application. Very easy to read. Very easy. So it has in-app storage, which is basically storage that's on your iOS device. It shows you I have I have zero things taking up that. And then it has external storage available. 29.94 gigabytes is what it says. Really small there. I'm only using 8% of that. And then we have some other options down here. So we have like photo backup, contact backup, calendar backup, Facebook backup, Instagram backup, backup all, Dropbox backup, Google Drive backup, in-app purchase. Those are the backup options. So we have, then we have music, photos, video, in-app storage, external storage, YouTube, Dropbox, Google Drive, recorder. So these are just the different basic options that you have here. So if you want to store anything in here, you can click on the top right there, slide this down. So then it shows us the external storage, my iTunes video, YouTube, and camera roll. External storage would be the flash drive. So if I have videos poured in here, there's one sample video of a uh, iFlash Drive Max's demo video. So there's that. Let me lower the volume so it's not too loud. So there's a the video playing. And so the cool thing about this is yes, I'm playing this right off of the flash drive, but if I have like an Apple TV or something like that, I can even stream this from my, the application here straight to my Apple TV. So if you have a ton of videos stored in your library, you can put them all in your flash drive, go to your your friend's house, they have an Apple TV there, you can stream it from the flash drive to your from your phone on their Apple TV and you can have a bunch of videos and things played off of there. So that's pretty cool, really handy to have. And you, like I said here, it shows you the in-app storage, the my, my iTunes library of videos, which I don't have any videos stored on my phone, but if I did, they would show up in this list. And so you can transfer things over, copy things over. It is obviously different settings. Backup, you can do a complete backup. So you can backup everything off the phone onto here, which is like pictures, calendars, emails, things like that. So if anything happens to my phone, Although we do have uh, iCloud, which is you know, uh, which is wireless backup. But if something happened to my phone, I had to purchase a different phone, or maybe off my my something happened to my iPad or whatever, I could plug this back back in there, use the application, and put those inf the information back onto the device. Really, really cool, handy functions, guys. I just I can't say enough positive things about it. The only downside to it is the price. It's a little bit pricey. But I just definitely think if it's something that it's one of those things where if you're going to be using it frequently enough and if it's helpful enough to you, you know, $100, $80, $130, depending on the capacity, you just can't go wrong with it. This is my go-to device that I use for road trips, going on vacations, things like that, for storing movies and such. This is what I use whenever I go on those trips. If the kids are in the backseat, they're bored, they want to watch a movie, I don't have to worry about having videos already pro put onto the iPad. All of my movies are on here. So whether they're using... The iPad Mini, the iPad Air, my phone, my wife's phone. We can pop this into there. They can watch something on there. They're good to go and no issues whatsoever. Same thing with music. I don't keep music stored onto my phone. I usually just listen to podcasts, and that's probably about it. Or I'll use Pandora. If I want to have music, I'll store it onto here. So if I'm in my car, I can pop this in, listen to music in my car. It'll shut off. It'll let you do other things. It'll play music in the background as well if you're having using headphones or whatever. So just a really cool product, guys. I cannot say enough positive things about it. It's such an interesting product, and I really look forward to checking out their new memories cable, which is something that's coming out recently. Uh, just this week, I believe they announced it. So I'll be reviewing that one very soon on, on the channel. If you guys have any questions about what you've seen so far about this, go ahead and post them down below. I read each and every comment in all of my videos, and I'll always do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. I just want to give a shout out to sellcashier.com who sponsored this video. If you guys are looking to get cash for your used iPhone, go check out sellcashier.com in the description. It's easy, fast, and secure. You just go on their site, you get a quote, you, uh, you ship your phone to them, and then you get paid money. So that's it for me today. If you want to stay up to date with all of my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video review.